As everyone is having less and less children, Asian Americans are asking themselves, is it my Asian duty to have kids? Yeah, you know, for yourself, you have to get straight A's, then, then go to a good college, get a great career, and then pop out like four grandchildren. That's your duty. Yeah, that does sound like a lot of pressure. But anyways, guys, we're going to talk about this because there was this viral post on Reddit in the Asian American forum that was asking, hey, anyone planning to have kids or not to have kids? And there was this whole comment section of people weighing in and being like, hey, I grew up Asian. I'm a second generation. I did well for myself or I didn't do well for myself and I'm having kids or I'm not having kids. Yeah. And plus there's actually some uh, TikTok memes that went viral about them as well. So let's play those right now. We're Asians in our 40s and unmarried. Our parents want us to marry a doctor. Nah, they'd be happy if we married anyone. We're Asians in our 40s, unmarried. Our parents call us fat and feed us more food. We're Asians in our 40s and are married, and we started the yellow fever trend. <laughs> we're Korean, we're 40s. What yeah, was it? we're Asians. We're Asians in our 40s, unmarried. I still get shocked watching kissing scene Korean drama. <laughs> we're Asians in our 40s and unmarried. We've never shaved our legs. We're Asians in our 40s and unmarried. And a stick of deodorant lasts us one whole year. <laughs> I'm an Asian in my 40s. <laughs> a man dating an Asian in her 40s, unmarried. And say it more enthusiastically. Not oh. like you're a captain. Captain. Oh my god. Captain. I'm a man dating an Asian <laughs> in her 40s. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> Boom, yo, it's an interesting thought because think about it. If you're a girl and you're Gen X and you're 40 plus, it's probably unlikely you probably have a lower than, what, 5% probability that you're gonna have kids if you're a woman and you're older than 40 and you don't already have kids. Mm -hmm. So these memes are becoming more and more common and a lot of people are saying they relate to them. Yeah, and I think, well, David, why do people relate to them? Is it like, because people, a lot of Asians who worked hard in their life or went to college, they got their corporate job or they got this and this job, maybe they became a doctor or whatever. They're weighing the options of like, should I even have kids? Do I want kids? Or is it my duty as an Asian to keep the bloodline going? Like, does it matter? Well, Asian grandparents and parents, they typically care a lot and they feel comfortable expressing it to you mm. very blatantly anyway guys we're gonna break it down make sure you like subscribe and turn in your notifications but you know what is gonna be a great substitute if you're not able to give your parents grandchildren give them small sauce but it's sold out right now sorry you guys were too late but please check back in because it will be restocked in a little while i just think that man it just varies so much family to family and uh, I noticed that the more like grad school you focus on, it's sort of like that movie Idiocracy. It's almost like when the, both the parents went to grad school and they're hyper-educated and they got their career tree and their career arc in their specific industry that they're dedicated to, it's almost like unlikely they're gonna have more than one or maybe two kids, but a lot of them trend-wise are opting Andrew, to have zero. Yeah. People are going for the dink, the dual income, no kids. They wanna travel around the world, have nice things. Yeah. I guess I, I don't blame people, you know, especially if you come from a childhood where you were uh, pressured a lot and you felt like you had to take care of your parents and then you took care of your parents and then you just want to take care of yourself. That I understand. I actually think that when you come from such a high pressure environment and not all Asian families are like this, but if your Asian family did put you under a lot of pressure that finally you're just like, oh. I don't want more pressure to have kids. What, now I got to pop out grandchildren for you? I got to raise grandchildren? Well, not only that, those kids, Andrew, that you feel pressure to have, you got to pressure those kids so the coal can turn into diamonds. Yeah, but I, I will say this, and this is in general, and you're going to go look at your own life, you know, whether you're 18 years old right now or you're 45 years old watching this, uh, but you're probably going to have to look at your life. But I guess my question is, like, I just think if you feel like you've handled this world correctly and you're educated and you're capable and you're well off enough, then you should have kids. I think you should have at least one kid and continue the generation. Now, whether they're full Asian, part Asian, it doesn't matter. I don't even care if they're mixed. It doesn't matter. Just have a kid because there does need to be a next generation that comes from like good families. And I'm not saying like every other- Who are family. you to tell me what I should do? Well, let me ask you this. I'm not telling you what to do. 
your choice, your body. But uh, I said, what else are you going to do for the world? What'd you make all that money for? What'd you get educated for? You're not going to pass it down to somebody? No, you're just so they consume? can give it to the resorts in all the other countries. So when you're just going to have all this money and you're going to pour it into t- tipping waiters. You're going to buy it, put it into products, material things, iPhones, MacBooks. Right, the nicest. You, nice you upgrade, cameras, the nice M1 trips. MacBook come out, the M2 MacBook, yeah. the M3 MacBook More come out. More Instagram photos on vacation, Bali, 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 Cancun, South Africa, Peru, boom, boom, Thailand, China, Seoul. You're going to do get all the surgeries. That's fine, whatever. Listen, that's up to you, but I'm just saying you're probably already living life like you're going to have something to pass down. Because if you are for sure not having kids, then don't save any money. Go into debt and die with debt because then that debt will not have anywhere to go. That's a So if debt. you're already taking care of your finances and you're already smart and educated, then just have a kid. You're already setting yourself up for it. Okay. That's well, my you, opinion. You, you believe in having the kids. I think it really just comes down to the family you're born into. Like I noticed um, a lot of my Southeast Asian friends, Andrew, they're already two, three, four. We know somebody with five kids right now. But then I notice, uh, you know, other people I know, they're like, they're married in their 40s and they don't have kids. Dude, I have a friend who's Filipino and his wife is Vietnamese. So not surprising. They have four kids. That's my roommate from college. You got four kids. Holy crap. Um, I also think it depends on your opportunities. What is your village looking like? Are your brothers and sisters having kids? Are your cousins having kids? Are you guys all living in the same city or one city over for each other so you guys can like coalesce and share resources, right? Because uh, it also depends on your outlook on the future, Andrew. There was an article that said today's teenagers anxious about their futures and disillusioned by politicians. People are concerned about species extinction, widespread disease, unlivable heat, ecosystem collapse, cities menaced by rising seas and rising housing costs. I will say this, man. These politicians got to be better people. These politicians are terrible out here, man. They're all either pedophiles or corrupt people or rude. (laughs) Or they're hanging out at Epstein's Island. Yeah, they're whatever. I don't know what these politicians are up to, but they got to do a better job, man. Yeah. Everybody from Mr. Trump to all these other people on the other side, they got to do a better job. Um, I know this Chinese girl and her mom actually told her because she's getting worried because the girl's 28 now. She got worried and was like, yeah, why don't you just have a baby? Because even if the guy changes, the baby will always stay with you. That's hilarious. That's that's how pressured she wants to have a grandchild. Well, well, she the- told the daughter to just have the baby with a random dude. Well, not, you know, give it a shot. But if it doesn't work out, she's like, the baby will always stay with you. Right, and then, and if that family has the means to always help support that baby, then the baby will always have uh, means to live and, right, right, and be right. raised a good baby. Yeah, I mean, that's... Theoretically, if you come from a good family, that's not the worst thing to do. If your family got a little bread. Yeah, if your family got a little money, that's not the worst idea. Um, Obviously, guys, they're probably got to f- freeze their sperm after 45. Uh, there is a biological element, Andrew. They recommend that women freeze their eggs before 35. Mm-hmm. So, obviously... It is different, right, for men right. and women. Right, right, right. Uh, Obviously, a woman that made the original TikTok meme, it's probably like she's never going to have kids. Right, right, right. Right, but uh, Andrew, uh, Robert De Niro just had a half Chinese baby at 80. Oh, it's half Chinese? Yeah. Shout out to Robert De Niro. Hey, I never thought Robert De Niro would be holding his daughter, and it just literally looks like a Chinese child. Nice. Um. Right. Anyway, let's just get into the comment section. Somebody said, yikes, man, you can't be... In your 40s with a receding hairline, you're out of shape. That sounds brutal. Mm. Well, he's talking about like single life, right? Like how fun is it going to be, right? Right, Um, right. Other people said, what's it like to watch your parents gradually descend into a state of despair? I mean, if it varies family to family, right? Some parents are going to feel that despair. Others are just like, they're chilling. Yeah. Um, somebody said having an upside down pyramid distribution chart across many countries structurally will just be not good. Right. Like from a economic standpoint, who's going to take care of the older people? Is the economy right, going right. to be dynamic enough? Right. Of course, a lot of people are worried about that. A lot of people are saying anybody in a first world country is essentially slowing down. And South Korea last year, 0.8. Replacement rate, 2.25. Mm. That's, that's way off. Yeah, it's rough. 
Um, other people just talking about how they had to struggle with it, the Confucian filial piety to have yeah. kids, but they finally came to terms with yeah, it. Yeah, and, and I, I think it's not like about like, oh, feel, I'm not telling you to have the obligation to feel like you got to repopulate the earth. Like don't have four kids if you don't want four kids. I'm just saying even have one. One kid you could do. You can do it in the city too. I know plenty of people raising one kid in the yeah, city. Yeah, I think having, I heard that like having the second kid makes it three times more complicated. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah, I'm, I'm just saying have a kid. Um, Contribute something. <laughs> uh, for example, I actually have a, and we have a cousin who got married to somebody that was 27 when he was 46. All right, a little older. Yeah. yeah but so they have, I mean, what, two kids? Yeah, they're two kids. It worked out healthy. Um, somebody said, I have to end my bloodline because I had a traumatic childhood and I do not want to continue any of the trauma. Listen, if you honestly believe that, then don't have kids. Don't have kids. Somebody said, I hate kids personally. They're effing annoying. That's it. Yeah. I mean, you sound like a, a bunch of fun. You sound right. like a bunch of fun. Um, somebody said, as long as ever since my brother had kids, nobody asked me about my plans anymore. I'm a female and I'm 37. Somebody said kids in this economy, forget about it. Um, I think a lot of it does come down to like the village around you though. If you have the systems, if yeah. you have the money, are you living in the burbs? Are you in the middle of a career arc? Are you like a consultant that's traveling a bunch for work? Yeah. You're probably going to need to take like a more sedentary desk job. If you want to have kids, because what are you going to do? Be traveling every week and you got a kid at home. It's too crazy. Yeah. I just also think like everybody has a very high standard for how they want to live. And I understand that feeling because, you know, I want to live in a nice place in New York City. That's cool. But also, I think some of our, we got spoiled. So we spoiled ourselves and now we don't want to take the hit of our lifestyle. Right. You're talking about millennials, Gen yeah. X, or or even yeah. the future in the future, Gen yeah, Z. yeah, yeah. I think ultimately, man, it just depends on the situation. People got to be like, you just got to be deliberate about so, your so situation, So what are the things? Man. No, be more specific. For example, what are the things like, you need to, the top three things that you want to check off before you have a kid? I think for me, I would like to be in a nice suburb that has a lot of other families that I relate to that are in a similar situation with kids around the same age range. I think raising kids like on an island sounds really miserable mm. because what you can't share advice. You can't share stories. Who yeah. are your kids going to play with? Let's say you only have one kid and you don't want to have four or five kids yourself. That kid's got to be socialized and play with other kids, but that's only going to be possible if everybody's like around the same age range, at least on a kid level, whether mm -hmm. the parents are the same age range or not. Mm -hmm. So I think that, you know, people got to make decisions, right? If they're the reason why I think South Korea has a 0 0.8 uh, lifestyle, Andrew, everybody wants to live in Seoul. But the property is hyper expensive in Seoul, Shanghai, Tokyo, wherever you want to say it. So I'm saying they're, they're looking at it like I'm going to just be crunching life like crazy. Mm -hmm. And I'm not even going to be able to afford things. I want to send my kid to a competitive preschool, uh, get my kid in a competitive elementary school. Yeah. It just turns into this whole thing where it just I think people just feel like it's going to be so stressful to give their kids like what, quote unquote, like the best of everything. Well, are you scared? Does that scare you from having kids? Then don't have kids. But if you're not scared and you want to step up to the plate and you want to contribute your offspring to the world and to the future because you think that there is going to be a future, then optimistic, well-to-do, well-educated parents should have kids. Yeah. So what if, if you believe that the human species is going to go extinct in 300 years, should you still have kids? No, if that's your belief. Hey, guys, let us know what you think in the comment section below. There's no answer to this. Like we said, you look at a lot of late-stage capitalistic environments around the world, the birth rate way below replacement. Let us know what you think about it. Is it your duty? Do you care? What have you seen in your family? Let us know in the comment section below. Until next time, we'd hop out, boys. We out. Peace. Peace.